He loves that. He loves hugging Felicity and Cynthia. Come back and sit down, for God's sake. Simon! I can't moan. She needs me for a fourth for bridge. <laughs> so after the card game, um, Bird Boot is snooping around the house, and he discovers the body. I, I said, what are you doing? Bird Boot, leave it alone. Come and sit down. You're... What's the matter with you? It's Higgs. What? <laughs> it's Higgs. Don't be silly. I tell you, it's Higgs. He's dead. <laughs> but what was he doing here? I was standing in tonight. Moon? Now it's just me and Puckeridge. Moon? I swear I didn't. I got it. And if Bird Boot had really thought about it for a, for a moment, I think he was blinded by the love of Cynthia, he would realize that at the end, Simon ends up getting shot. In the first act of the play, I took a bullet and flew in the air, just like a gymnast practically, threw myself on the couch, the couch comes sliding across, covers a dead body. This guy couldn't even duplicate that because he was nowhere nearly as athletic as me. Finally! Ha, ha, ha. I see it! <laughs> oh! <laughs> the other critic, meanwhile, Moon, comes running on stage. Red boot! Inspector, what's happened? The other critic, Moon, uh, comes on the scene and starts to behave like the inspector. <laughs> He's dead! <laughs> and we're all listening to him because at this point we're wondering what the hell is going on. If Moon had been smart, he would have said, Right, I'm gone. Bye everybody! And left. Just left the stage because here's two theater critics dead. Who's the next who, uh, theater critic? Anybody else a theater critic? <laughs> who would do this uh, and why? To say that it is without pace, point, focus, interest, drama. Now I actually get to come back and play the part of Bird Boot, and the, the first Inspector Hound actually comes back to play the part of Moon. Some of the cast seem to have given up acting altogether. <laughs> the fourth wall is closed again, and he can't go back, because now there are characters in the real world, and he's a real person in the character's world. So, is this your man, Inspector? Yes? <laughs> yes? It's, it's fine. The end of the play really gets confusing. Who is this chap? <laughs> Inspector? Uh, I don't know. Uh, quite unlike anyone I've ever seen before, really. Well, now. Inspector? Oh, yes, yes. What is it, dear lady? Mrs. Drudge, my maid is telling on all of us. I trust to come within earshot of the remark made by Lady Muldoon to the deceased to the effect, I will kill you, Simon Gascoigne. <laughs> I also trust to overhear a remark made by Felicity Cunningham. And she's like, you know, got ears in the wallpaper. Moon has not the slightest clue what the hell's going on? It was a bitter argument, one which ended with your promise to kill him. A promise which you carried out in this very room at your first opportunity. And I must warn you that anything you say... But it doesn't make any sense! And this, of course, is absolutely right. None of it does make any sense. Well, <laughs> um, not at first glance, perhaps. My kids would ask me at home, like, who, who did it? And I would say to them, actually? I really don't know. <laughs> we have Magnus, who out of the blue has risen from his wheelchair. I am not the real Major Magnus Muldoon. And claims to be the real Inspector Hound. 
It was mere <laughs> subterfuge. He had a lot of stuff going on under that uh, mustache. Magnus is indeed Puckridge, who is the critic who's underneath Moon. Puckridge! <laughs> you killed Higgs and, and Bird Boot tried to kill me! Oh! He concocts this absolutely preposterous scheme so that he can become the lead critic. I've been waiting a long time for this moment. And uh, all of a sudden reveals who he really is. Yes, it's been 12 long years, but don't you know me? He's Albert. Yes, tis I, Albert, who lost his memory and joined the police force. There's always a whole bunch of reveals at the end. Oh no, I'm not Major Magnus. I am uh, the critic uh, Moon. No, no, I'm not him. I'm your long lost love, Albert. As an audience member who just comes in to see the show, having never read it or worked for two and a half, three months on it, it could get a little bit confusing if you're not paying attention, and especially if you've had a few at the open bar right outside before the show, you know? And then there were some people that said, oh, that writer must have been doing some major acid or something in the day because that was just brilliant. In short, my darling, my memory has returned. And our long wait is over. Oh, Albert! Puckeries, you cunning bastard. <laughs>